and welcome everyone welcome to the kiosk value working group meeting of december 2nd this is the last meeting of the year so then we'll meet after the year <laughs> i see some nods so please add yourself to the minutes and Microsoft minutes, like almost forgot. Yep. So, and uh, the first item on the agenda <laughs> is fair metric. And Sean was supposed to give some update or some write up or something. Sean, I'm not sure. So, Sean over to Sean. Sean didn't do that. Like so many things. Oh, so. Sean is hard. Sean, Sean's, <clears throat> Sean's an open source software project maintainer who is trying to get his lawyers to finalize a contract with a, another maintainer that can help me. Yeah, well, I wish you, I wish you all the luck in that. Yeah, university lawyers are so easy to work with. Well, you know, I have this student team that tries <laughs> to help projects. Yeah. Oh. So if okay. not, then yeah, go ahead. We should talk. Uh, we have talked about that from a. Well, we, we talked about designers for you, which we have to pick back up again. So yes. um, we should definitely resume that conversation. Yes. When, yeah. when it's convenient for you, and probably mm -hmm. not during this meeting. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I guess it is related. It's it's for. I'm blanking so, on them this morning. I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> it's for Augur. It's for. Oh, um, so it's related. Yeah, it's related. And it's also a potential uh, opportunity to leverage some of the work that you've done and some of the ideas that we had. So, yes. Yes. So, um, so um, that would be we should rebook um, with Mike. Yep. This is. <clears throat> I owe you an email on that from the like September. So, only. We're not, going away. We're not going away anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. we, 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 have a, we have at least one more year of funding and the university has blessed me to go big game hunting. And I have my first, first meeting with the, uh, the development and advancement team in January. So nice. I think we'll be around. Good. Yeah, I think, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, once I, once I get some software maintainers yep. to help me. Uh, I've got students, but um, <clears throat> it, they are in computer science and it's been a really hard semester. It's the first semester back, it's like readjusting to everything um, for our students. I don't know about yours. <clears throat> um, the other thing, other thing I wanted to add to the agenda in addition to FAIR um, uh, and is uh, tidying, and we can, we should talk about FAIR at least, but um, tidying up the value repository uh, yep. and spreadsheet. And <clears throat> I'm just typing down here. Um, uh, checking that all the least metrics point to GitHub. <clears throat> and checking that all in-process metrics are in Google Docs and then uh, I would say all these are updated except we have some open issues that needs to be looked on like other than this I've been regularly following and maintaining the repo uh, <clears throat> for value so okay. Excel, Excel sheet is updated I've been following it and the Google Docs and the release and the checklist are all updated it's just we have some open issues that needs to be reviewed, like those older open issues that we have to decide whether we want to continue with them or what, like, as a group, we have to decide those. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's just some uh, end of the year tidying. Yeah. That we don't have to do in this meeting, but we should. Uh... And you, you, if you've been keeping up, <clears throat> that's great. Yep. We um, Yesterday, Matt went through the DEI working group and there was and I think this will be the case in evolution as well. There are a number of metrics that we've been working on when we transition to Google spreadsheets or Google Google Docs. <clears throat> and the spreadsheet links 
and, and Google Docs never got updated. So there are some in-process metrics that I think are orphaned in the GitHub repo. And the aim is just okay. to make it easier for newcomers to join the project, to join right. chaos as a whole, that we have this consistent process. And so I think it's it's like this tedious two to three hour ticking and tying process. In, in Values case, it sounds like it might be smaller. <clears throat> Uh, I have one more thing on the agenda beside this, if we are done with this. Uh, yep. that, that. So I have one thing which is like planning for the next year, what we want to do or accomplish ne next year. So one thing uh, in this uh, uh, value working group meeting I've observed is we have a lot of discussion, but we are developing very less. So like in last release, we just uh, release one metric and so so that is my like we should have some kind of a goal that uh, we should focus that these are the few things that we'll uh, try to accomplish at least in one release or something like that all right i mean i think i think some of these fair metrics are um on the table for that <clears throat> okay okay uh so I don't know if we want to look at the spreadsheet or not, or what do you think? I think we can take a look at the spreadsheet too. Uh, do you want me to share yeah. the spreadsheet? I just uh, meant um, for having a, yep. this, this common, this thing that you were mentioning, um, the goals. Yep. Because I, I, I think we have some metrics sort of listed. Yes. And I think some of our goals would include deciding which ones to work on prior to the next release. Uh, let me share the spreadsheet, the screen. Here we go. Okay, so can you see my screen? Not yet, but that's just that, that I see it now. Okay, so here are the web. What monitor it puts it on. So here are the value metric, uh, the list which we are considering or have in the list, but. So that one under community review, that's, is that like in an interim review process there? Or is that uh, actually released now? I think it's released now. Organizational influence, it is release metric. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. One of the tasks would be then just to change the link to the GitHub. Yes, so instead okay. of having, instead of pointing the metric in the spreadsheet, uh, to the chaos okay. website, we want to point it to the yep. GitHub repository. I'll just mm -hmm. GitHub or the website. GitHub. Okay. That's that's what. Uh, if you look at the DEI tab, that's what they did, and okay. um, I think that makes a lot of sense because if anybody wants to make a comment on the metric from the spreadsheet that would be the place to do it is to create an issue in the repo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So metrics, I think. Uh, yep. I'll, I'll do it in the, after the meeting, I'll update this one. So. All right, sweet. Yep. Uh, Nobody uh, outside of open source software would ever say the best way to make a comment in a document for which there's a spreadsheet or a Google Doc is to go through GitHub and submit an issue so to yep. see what other people read it to see if it gets more. It's just like, oh yeah, that's my natural workflow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you talk to anybody, else, they're like, what? What? <laughs> You're using Google Docs? You're supposed to be technical. Do you not know about like <laughs> where? <laughs> oh my God. Uh... I'll add an action item for the note to update. Yeah. Uh, so I'll assign myself an action item to update this link. Okay. Okay. So then we have. Uh, so in organization value, we have this organization of value organization bring to open source project and value organization drive.
Um, value organization derived. That is an oddly named metric. <clears throat> these, these were the two just came out of the discussion when we were uh, uh, working on this organization influence. Organizational metric. value. Uh, this organization influence metric when we were yes. discussing that these two came out of that discussion to work uh, on those. But uh, there's no just, progress on there. Okay, so I'd say val I would just maybe change it to mirror the one above it. So it's value organizations derive from an open source project. Uh, Mm, yeah <laughs> that makes like value organization derive it feels like it's a little it just i would didn't know what it meant um then we have this list <coughs> of considering but there's um, no what about under the science do we, do we have a scientific or an academic scientific category or are we putting those yes up? we have this one academic value uh which is this one so i mean i might suggest that we make those as a um, goal yeah like if i was to focus in an area where i think we could okay. add value i think it's in this emergent academic value space. right not saying right. that these other ones aren't important i think they are but right since we haven't um <clears throat> I don't know if we did we release academic open source project impact. Yes, we have hmm. released it, and okay. uh, no, I think you know I feel like to address that stuff. You know, every time I turn around, I find more things going on in the space, which is why I dumped that horrendous hmm. list of stuff in the notes last week. In the notes, and in fact, um, well, somebody put them in the notes for me. I emailed them because I didn't know whether it was appropriate to blow them in there or somewhere else. So, thank you for whoever did that. Just, well, yeah, I, I collected all the links and posted here just to have the record so that we can refer back if we need to. And there's um, this Dora group. <clears throat> You know, they held these two like community meetings and got this huge like core dump of stuff like this that they're about to ship out. And and I almost feel like we essentially need like a book club session or two, right? We need to needed to kind of try to go through this stuff and absorb it and then reflect back. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's so much happening that to kind of just pretend that's not there and, and do our own thing. It would be really good, I think, to see where the other thinking is going. Um, <clears throat> so maybe, and, and I know that that door group wants to come to a value meeting they said they wanted to come probably first or second meeting in January. I think I'm going to tell them since we're going to have such a break for a month, right? Yes. That, that it would be better for us to do end of January or first one in February. Um, and then that would give us time to kind of absorb all this stuff. <clears throat> And, and whatever else I get from them in the next month, because they're gonna they're gonna come with all this stuff in our heads, in their heads already, right? They're on top of all of these things. Okay. Does that make sense? I mean, I don't yes. I don't want to like be laying agendas on the group that the group isn't like aligned with, but there's so you know there is so much ferment in the field right now around this stuff that. <clears throat> trying to get on top of what's going on so that if we if we like gave ourselves the assignment to <clears throat> go through this on our own and um <clears throat> and then whatever else i can add to it okay so that 
we have our heads wrapped around it. We're better prepped for a meeting at the end of January with them. <coughs> so then uh, my question will be like, uh, should we plan something now or should we wait and meet them and then listen to them what they have to say and then plan on uh, working on those things? Um, I'll leave it to you all to decide. And I'll, I'll leave it <clears throat> to you guys to do the invite. I'll drop her invite. I'll drop her email address in the notes. Okay. Find it now. Yeah, you know, it, it's kind of like chicken and egg. Do we want to <laughs> we want to read up before we see them and just kind of then go through all the stuff, or do we want to be prepped? Really <clears throat> that's that's a. I think that's based basically on how the group wants to do it. Okay. I'm not sure what are others, Sean, what are your thoughts? Uh, you have been more involved in the fair meetings and things. <laughs> I mean, I would agree, I, I agree with um, uh, Stephen. You know, I think maybe, you know, trying to sift through this stuff is part of what I was said I would do for this meeting, but I didn't. So right. now I have a month, <coughs> which is all <laughs> part of my evil plan. <laughs> um, and I think maybe during that month, uh, hmm. at some point, maybe try to coordinate with Stephen and talk about this directly, because <coughs> I think he's. Yeah, but we closer. have a lot to talk about anyway, Sean. Yeah. So you know, we can kind of double dip, or we can do two meetings or whatever. I, I like the, I like the idea of double dipping on meetings. That's <laughs> I'm an academic. That's my favorite. All right. So then the, uh, for, I, I think the takeaway is like, uh, we'll, we'll focus on the fair metric or academic side and we'll keep on developing as and when the discussion happens and things become more clear to us. the we don't have any other thing uh, in the agenda as of today so or we can just clean the uh, repository look at the old issues and clear them that is workable okay so i dropped her stuff in the chat oh sorry i missed the chat when you share the screen things <laughs> yes they, they it all goes to heck I see on the chat it's the book club thing. I think we discussed that. <clears throat> and, and it will please you to know that they had sent out an email with links about stuff that was discussed in the chat of their session. And um, the, the mention that I put in of chaos and the link to the top level web pages and the notes that they sent out. Have you posted any links in the chat? <clears throat> I, I was talking about the links in the chat from their meeting I attended. They, I plugged you and they spent it out by email. So chaos is now okay. by Dora is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. So... 
then what should we have i think that's all in the agenda for today anything else that you want to talk or <clears throat> um let's see um so i just noticed that next year is ospocon <clears throat> it's in june i think austin in june yes um does does chaos con regularly kind of bolt onto that yep that we talked about that at the community meeting yesterday okay um and i think the answer is yes we're going to do that pending the omicron variant and others and <laughs> How that affects everything <clears throat> yeah it's like i you know i will have announcements for something somewhere on the spectrum between a conference and a research convening fourth quarter next year probably mid to late september early october that's gonna focus on a lot of potential beneficial overlaps between university research open research open science open scholarship and ospos so i'll as soon as i start to nail that down i will let you folks know about that for sure um Yeah, that's that's I have expended, I think, all of my needs and wants for this current year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think um, I have some to do's with Stephen following up. And I also think um, <clears throat> the fair fair stuff for our January meeting. Okay, cool. And, and Manad, if you're going to take on are, are you going to take on the um, ticking and tying of the spreadsheet? Yes, I'll do and, that. And if you have any doubt about uh, how to do it, the DEI okay. tab is already, and the DEI repository is already uh, okay. fully tidied. So it would, um, well, I shouldn't say that. The spreadsheet's fully tidied, and Matt is going to issue a pull request into it um, with the, with the um, basically the metric, excuse me, the metrics he moved from GitHub back into spreadsheets that weren't, you know, weren't yet or back into Google Docs that weren't yet released. <clears throat> uh, in the Google Docs, like the release metrics are in the uh, GitHub repo and while we are developing, they are in the Google Doc. Yeah, I think, and I think we have mostly have the, that consistency already. So I don't think it's as big of a jo job for value. I think it will be for evolution, which is mine. Okay. <clears throat> Yep. No, I'll 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 update this uh, value repo spreadsheet and uh, get it fixed and and uh, get it aligned with that. And uh, in the meantime, we have some open issues on the repo. Do you want to go through those? These are very old open issues. I don't know. Uh, maybe we can. Uh, like we have 17 open issues. Change before my sister is is traveling up from DC and she just said she needs to talk, so she may have issues. So I'm in Vail right here. Um, okay. Sean, I look forward to. You're in Vail right now. No, I need to bail. Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what? You've no. got an office in Vail? I, all right. No, no, Does RIT no. have any openings? Because No, no <laughs> such luck, my friend. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll see you folks next time. All right. See you next right, time. Bye. bye. Thank you. <clears throat> all right. So, are we done? Anything else we want to talk about, Vinod? I was thinking of we should go through some of the open issues we have on the repo that we can... That is fine with everyone. Okay, so the first one is uh, change default 
the branch domain. I think we have done it, no? Let me uh, value, it is main. So I think we can close this issue. So, so I think this is good. And then we have another issue, which is contributor net recommendability. Who has this? Sean, you have created this metric list and... Uh, <clears throat> oh, that's... I didn't create. Uh, I think... Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is, this is for contributor net recommendability. It looks like we were working on this in September. So this is the checklist that uh, Georg and I think it was Georg and Kevin developed for met the yep. metrics release process. And yep. all I did was create the issue um, because the issues for metric release, <clears throat> and it looks like this is just labeled a metric idea right now. Right. So I think, so I, okay, here's what I think I did. I think I created this issue because at the time of the last release or the release before this one we just, maybe yes it was around the time of the last release you had this sort of circular logic of when do i create the issue when do i create the right the pull request and all the things and so by creating the issue pointing to the google doc first <clears throat> i had the issue number to put into the metric in github and then okay. i could just go back and edit the description to point to the repository after that that was the rough okay. workflow that was in my head when I did that back in September, which honestly seems like forever ago. <clears throat> so that question is, do we want to continue on this metric idea in the next meetings? Um, I, I forget where it came from, but I think I think, you know, alongside the fair metrics, this is probably one that we want to Okay. Um, it it might have come from the Asia Pacific. I I feel like it did too, but I couldn't. Yeah, I agree. I feel like I, June was doing something with this. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. So, so maybe I'll keep this as a new metric and like which group? I I don't see anything on the spreadsheet. So in on the spread. Oh come on, Zoom height. Here's the spreadsheet. Where will this belong to as a net contributor? Should we keep it somewhere in the any of these focus areas? I think maybe individual. So. After this, let's see this one. Okay, considering what is that? <clears throat> it was contributor net recommendability. Okay. And the link is this issue. So this is the next in the list to work with. Okay. Okay. Every time I try to move a cursor, that Zoom pop up comes out. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. 
then we have uh, uh, value of project being part of larger ecosystem. This was initiated by Nikos and he said he'll work on it. So maybe I'll reach out to Nico to see if any progress or So, uh, Pulling on the book. Can you drop a link to that in the chat? I'm really having a hard time reading that. Uh, which one? This. Whatever issue you're on. 154. Uh, 154. We'll drop the metric on how to present. Yeah, Nico hasn't been around recently. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, should we continue with this or should I reach out to Nico? I was not sure what. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe after the first of the year, we can reach out yeah. to Nico. Okay. Okay. So yeah, uh, next year I'll reach out to Nico and see if he wants to pursue this so that we can continue. Yeah, I feel like this time of year is really busy for people, so. Yeah. So what is the status of the release metric? Do they need to be closed now or? I yeah. Think is... <laughs> this is already released now. I think you can close it, yeah. Uh, let me cross confirm. It's organizational influence, right? It went into the metrics release, right? Yep, I think so. Let me cross confirm it. Let me just double check and make sure. Yeah, um, influence was the one, yep. This is the one organization influence. So yep. organization, and this is already released metric. Yep, I think we can close that. Okay. Uh, release notes. What about the release notes? You have to capture continuous contribution notes inside from comments that name of the metric. I don't know what this is. So I can, Elizabeth, you're muted. Sorry, um, I think uh, we can close that, but we need to have one for the next release open. Okay, so okay. now like, uh, okay. So what should I write? Uh, metrics are already released. We need to open the new one for the next release. Correct. Okay, value report. 
Previously, I suggest building a value prospectus dashboard that funder could use to determine the value of a project when making decision about the investment. Now, put initiative in place, I think, in words, revising the idea. What would a value community report look like? Was this uh, starting with the organization focus area, but I'm also very interested in what this would look like for proposal, proposed academic focus area. This sounds like a metric model to me. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yes, that's that's the thing that I need to work on for you and for others. So, um, I I have quite the quite the list. Do we want to oh. close this here and open it in a metrics model repo or? Um, that's a good question. Because, so, that's a really good question. Because I think metrics models are actually going to, um, like uh, Ragava at UNO and I are working on operationalizing the metrics model you proposed in that working group, Elizabeth, in mm -hmm. some Jupyter notebooks, mm -hmm. and uh, for next Tuesday's meeting, and and so our our primary aim there is to provide a fleshed out sort of here's the metrics model description. And here's a worked example of that model in some Jupyter notebooks that I think we might put in like a metrics model repository at some point. Mm -hmm. But I think it has, but I think one of the things Ragava and I have not done is then like traced each of the metrics that we're using all of the way back to the chaos definition, right? So gotcha. like it's it's sort of clear because you laid them out in your model that way. So it's 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 probably more clear than I than I just said, but I feel like that needs to be like a like that worked example would then enable working groups to conceptualize metrics models that are relevant in their area. So, for example, if we get to do you were you around for the um, what was that what was that massive metric that um, Georg and social, social currency me. Social, yes, currency, social currency so social currency social, like, yeah i don't know if you were, had you started working with us at that time i think yeah 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 yeah. yeah. i was really involved in that yeah right that's what i thought that's but it's like my brain and the pandemic no, you're uh, fine. You're fine. um and and so that's a that's a good example of something that like now that we have conceptualized a metrics model would have just easily become that instead of become kind of this unwieldy metric um that makes sense so it does. so it i does. don't have a i don't have a prescription so for as about whether or not working groups ought to or ought to not build metrics models or if that should be left to the metrics model working group i think the but, discussion on that was like uh we develop the metrics and feel there is a metric model coming from those metric we can uh develop and propose it to the metric model working group okay as a as a proposal like okay we are developing these metrics but out of those because we are highly involved in the focus area that means we can uh, if we see there is a model coming out of that we can develop that model and propose it to the metric model working group okay so should we put this on the spreadsheet under the metrics model tab or under the value tab or like where would it go yeah, so it's so I th I think if we want to be coherent about metrics models, it should probably go under the metrics models tab, but there should be some tag indicating that the value working group is is developing it. And and I yeah, and like in like in the case of like the fair metrics in the academic area, I think at the end of the development of those metrics that there will be a metrics model for right. academics that maybe incorporates some things from evolution and some things from DEI and some things from value mm -hmm. uh, and probably some things from common and risk for that matter. Um, so. Uh, so, so I guess my long description of what Raghav and I are doing are to say that it's not clear what it is to build a metrics model exactly yet. And so we're trying to flesh out a full example so that gotcha. working groups and others are able to make sense of what we're doing. So we're, I guess mm -hmm. we're trying to lay down a format and a process and enough of an example that 
each working group doesn't go about interpreting what a metrics model is in, in and there's a template and all that yeah 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 and and so i think i would i would call that emergent like i think we're getting close but i'd like in that metrics model working group to knowing what that template looks like mm -hmm. uh, i don't think we're quite there yet in a way that if we distributed it to working groups that it would be uh something that can be followed they could use okay so this That's, is yeah. something to be done, but not quite yet. Yeah, I, I think, think it's a really good idea. I like this idea a lot, the value yeah. report. And we do have a metrics model meeting next Tuesday, right? That's after next yeah. week that we're suspending chaos meetings. Yeah. So um, when we have that metrics model meeting, I think um, that, will, that will be a key one for hopefully getting us launched into 2022 with more metrics models far and wide <laughs> can i as far as the eye like can this? see there'll be metrics models <laughs> flowering on the landscape like a spring <laughs> so so can i close this that this is evolved as a metric model working group or can be a part of metric model working group well i would maybe leave it open leave it open okay and and i don't know if if we want i don't is there a metrics model tab on the spreadsheet there there was yes yeah. yes there is um, here's the metric model tab yeah i'm opening the spreadsheet myself here we go there metrics is. models like i just don't want it to get lost yeah uh, is your model in uh, so there is no model from the value. It was oh, like academic, uh, this considering researcher reputation, which was like, okay, different metrics we have on this. I, I this think, one. yeah, I think um, there should be a column to indicate where the work is being done. I'll make a comment. Yeah, I like that idea, Sean. Yeah. can't see that I'm typing a comment, but yep. I, I do have a comment on there and maybe I should take um, German Prey and Elizabeth and who is else? Um, well, I'm trying to remember the gentleman who's always at that metrics model group, Lucas. Of course, he's not in my not in my email list, but <clears throat> just taking some key people from that working group. So, in the metric model list, I see that the researcher reputation being developed in value working group, and these are the list of metrics. But I don't think we have discussed any of these. I like this as a metric model in the. Have we discussed this? It's it's come up. Um, not, I don't think we've discussed it in depth. I think it was more okay. of a, I see this as a, I think I'm the one that said, hey, I see this as a metrics model that value could be developing. Um, okay. And, and, but that does presume a way that the models come to be that mm. maybe, maybe it's better if the metrics model working group developed this one we would have to develop the metrics first um i yeah or, well i guess a lot of these metrics do exist but there are other metrics that i think are also that are on our to-do list that are significant okay so so this can be a next agenda to develop a metric model yeah. of a value working group okay you know, you know, I don't, I don't see Elizabeth's model in this list, actually. <laughs> I should probably add that. And I think it's a, it's a community, or maybe it's, uh, I w yours was more about newcomer retention. Correct. Um, so. 
I'm just going to add that to the spreadsheet. So coming back to this issue value report, uh, should we leave it open or? I would for now, just because I don't want it to get yeah, lost. But maybe we could reference I, our, I, our conversation here. I agree with I would agree with that sentiment that um, until until we have a, a clearer process for metrics models, leaving it here will prevent it from getting lost. What do you think, Fanad? Yep, uh, that's right. what I'm documenting. Excellent. I'm just going to the metrics model notes and adding the metrics model that Elizabeth proposed to the actual metrics model list. Okay, I have completed that. So I think we are at the end of time. So maybe we'll we continue. Are. Yep, we'll continue. At least we reduce some of the open issues from 17 yeah. to 14. So that is an accomplishment. I agree. Yep. So. Thank you so much for joining today's value meeting. Thank you. We for are at the end of time and see you soon somewhere in other meetings. Oh, well, next Seems week, likely. the <laughs> metrics model meeting possibly, and then I guess see you all in a month. Um, yep. After that. Yep. All right. Um, thank you, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to bye. see everybody. Have a happy yep. holiday. I'll see you, you later. Too. All right. Bye. Bye.